Patrick! Is everything okay? It's Mark. He's dead. Oh, I'm so sorry, kiddo. How are you? I heard about Mark. What happened? He didn't make it. There was nothing we could have done for him. So, what's new with you? I've been ordered to go to Pasadena to collect some intel. Is there anything you need from there? Right now, I don't need anything. But there's something you might be interested in. When we were running away the other day, Colin was supposed to bring something. Boxes of adrenaline, painkillers, and who knows what else. Since he didn't bring anything with him, I'd imagine everything's still there. Those stimulants might be useful to you. When used in small doses, they can improve focus and alertness. If I were you, I'd take a look. You didn't change your mind about joining the Resistance? No. I'm packed and ready to go. You're the one that kept saying that we're going when in fact we're not. Oh, you really pissed me off, I must say. Do you need help with anything? No, I'm fine. I had to learn to do things by myself for quite a while, sweetie. Now, tell me what did you really want to ask me? How did you know about the Annihilation Mine? I heard the rumors, like everyone else. And then, like everyone else, I decided to ignore them. I was in the middle of operating on a little girl. When I had finished, I realized that we were surrounded. The machines killed most of us, but they decided to keep me alive. So, that's how I ended up in a camp. Maybe they thought it would be worth having a doctor in there. I don't know. What happens at those camps? People get tortured, experimented on, cut to pieces. I couldn't watch at first, but I soon realized that I had to do what no one else could. I had to bear witness to the atrocities. You were actually the first person that wasn't afraid to ask. They're all scared of me, like, like I'm carrying some sort of disease. But they're still coming to me for medicine. Ironic, isn't it? About that camp. What do you want to know? How did the machines communicate with you? There was this one machine. We called it Nurse Ratchet. It was designed to look almost friendly. It wore an awful, smiling, rubber human face. At the end of every week, it took the weakest of us for experimentation. My cellmate, Karen, was pregnant. I knew that was a one-way ticket to the grinder, so I had to plan an escape. Did Skynet ever notice she was pregnant? Well, we tried to keep it a secret, but when she started showing, they informed me that after the birth, I would have to kill the baby. Otherwise, they would execute the whole cage. The baby came early, and Karen died giving birth. She didn't even get to see her child. I had to take action. Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room, where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Were you still behind the annihilation line? Yes. We couldn't find anyone for days. We thought we were the last of the human race. Just the two of us and a baby girl. We ran to protect her, but deep down we were preparing for the worst. Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken, so stop bothering me. I'll be on my way. <sighs> Talk to Ryan. He wanted to give you something. I see you got that bus running again. Lucky for us, I did. There haven't been any good vibes here since Mark died. Everyone's been itching to get out of here, leave this place behind them. Anyhow, I got something for you. It's called a termination knife. It's supposed to shut down a Terminator with a single stab, so 
If you sneak in and you want to take them down silently, well, that's your go-to weapon. I guess you could say it terminates terminators. Wow, that was almost as bad as Jan. Where did you get that? A group of travelers came by earlier. We traded, talked for a while. Actually, they said something that got my attention. Something about meeting a guy out there who kept asking about Jacob Rivers. He said he didn't seem right. You don't think it's that thing that you told us about before, do you? Sorry, I probably should have said something right away. You're going to Pasadena? Yep, I am. I have a mission for you, a secret mission, super important. Probably the most important of them all. What is it? Could you bring me my chalk? Chalk? Yeah, it's at my house. The one with the beware sign on the side. Could you bring it to me? I mean, if you could. I did bring you that bullet one time. I'll see what I can do. Cool. I am. Good. I marked vantage points on your map. Use them to take pictures of the Skynet installations. And although this is a recon mission... You have clearance to engage at will. Over and out. Private, there's a strong possibility that you'll encounter a T-47 there. It's Skynet's newest Walker-type HK. If you can, take a photo of a functioning unit that we can analyze. Over and out. That's gotta be Colin. Looks like Colin rigged this place with traps. <laughs> Better be careful.
dispensary? There has to be a hospital nearby. <laughs> 